So here's the deal. If you did not catch the last video, don't worry about that. I will have a link to it at the very end of this video. But the cliff notes is this. I went offshore, I caught myself a really, really big amberjack. And today we are going to cook up the roe from that amberjack. I absolutely love the roe from the fish that we catch out here, but I have never in my life eaten the roe from something quite this big. So it's gonna be a unique experience for all of us. And I invite you to come along and join us as we cook up this massive bowl of fish eggs from a reef donkey amberjack. Look at the size of that thing. That is a massive bowl of fish eggs. I don't know how that's gonna turn out, I'm curious. But it looks like it's gonna be good to me. It's gonna be interesting to see if we can cook that all the way through. Please pardon the mess. I'm gonna to try to cover up the whole mess on my counter with the fish eggs here. So that you can't see any mess. No, Aaron, you are that. You're, just, you're not gonna eat that. Now, the reason for that is because I've been cooking all day and I don't wanna show you the mess. See, that's all the crumbs from the Amberjack I've been cooking for dinner. Now, dinner is done. Counter is still a mess, I gotta do dishes but uh, I'm gonna cook that before I do dishes. So let's get to that. Now, I'm not gonna season this. I'm not gonna do anything special to it. And the reason being is because these egg sacs are so freaking, they're, they're so fat. There's no way any of that seasoning or brining or anything is gonna get down to that. I simply want these things cooked. They taste good regardless. After they're cooked, then I'll probably open this up and I'll mix it up with something to give it some kind of flavor. But right now, I just wanna try to get this thing cooked evenly. Well, let's see. I'm going to do it with an air fryer, too. Just for anybody who's curious, we're using a Ninja. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, as a YouTuber, we're going to have some fun with this. I am going to leave an affiliate link to the Ninja that I'm using. If you want to buy one, you go right ahead. You have yourself some fun with that. Now, let's see if our Ninja can handle cooking up a fat bowl of fish eggs. <laughs> Slap that guy right there. Hey, he fit. I didn't know if he was going to fit or not. So this guy, he's thicker. I'm gonna go 350, and I'm gonna go a little bit longer. I guess we're gonna take a crack at doing it for, uh, how long do you think we should cook a fat sack of roe? I think we should have it burn the fire. I don't know about this ninja business. No, 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 no. You, you missed the part where I did an affiliate link for the ninja. <laughs> and I'm throwing this in the video because it's a big laugh. We're having fun with it. Well, no, I mean, I love the ninja, but I'm a little worried about cooking roe and ninja and have it just, Right. We're, it's an experiment. So, yeah, so throw I'm a dart. What, what do you think? Ten minutes. Okay, okay. Three fifty for ten minutes. Yeah, because the deal is when we when we fry it, we flash fry the outside, and it keeps the outside just heated. But we've never done one this big. No, we have not. That's why I'm a little disturbed. Why am I so? All right, we're gonna try three fifty for ten minutes. Let's see how it goes. The ten minutes is up. We went ahead and opened it up, and it still looks just a little bit raw down on the inside. But it doesn't. But it does. Looks mealy. It looks raw. I'm going to be the only person that's eating any of this. Nobody else is volunteering to take a crack I'll at taste it. Taste it, but I'm not going to partake in it. Tasting and partaking are different Okay, so Rachel's actually going to taste it. Of course, but I'm not. Gonna... I didn't expect that. I wasn't expecting anybody to take a crack at this. It other looks than like me. a very large liver. It does. A large one. You know, so we'd set it for a few more minutes. I think we've done a total of uh, 25 minutes here cooking this. It's time for us to take a look and see how well done these eggs are. I would assume they're probably done, but we need to check them real quick first. All right, that's much better. I think that our fish eggs are done. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out, put them on a plate, and I'm gonna kind of, you know, pull the actual eggs out of the, the row sack before I go ahead and let anybody take a crack at this. Give me just a moment, I'm gonna do that, and then we'll get to the, uh, portion where we actually experiment with the flavor here. All right, before we get anybody else involved with this whole experiment, let's take a little taste here, see how it goes. The flavor is good. It does have that little bit of a mealy texture to it. There's a lot of opportunity with this, but basically is that fish eggs are really good. Yeah, at least in my opinion, this is like a delicacy to me, but don't take my word for it. Let's get Rachel in here. We'll let her have a taste and see what she says. And just a little side note on this, I have very carefully crafted the framing of this entire shot right here because the mess from having cooked up and packaged and filleted and everything with that amberjack that we did encompasses every other portion of the kitchen except this one little corner right here. I don't hate it, but I wouldn't order it anywhere and it's too big. It's big. But I'm, my thought is that we could open this thing up and use the eggs as a mixture and some other kind of recipe like a, a sauce or a... If they don't, it's just a little bit of Like not all of it. 
loud. I, I need to experiment with more of it. Uh, it's too mealy for a dip. You think so? Yeah. It's like you said, it was taste. Okay, look, it threads out like an actual different order, which is interesting. Uh -huh. oh, the cats can enjoy. No, the, I don't know why the cats don't like fish eggs. I've tried it. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> reminds me of carpet or an old shirt. <laughs> Like pilled carpet. What? <laughs> this is what it looks like. It doesn't taste like pilled carpet. I've never eaten pilled carpet. <laughs> Long story short, not not something that you just want not, to like straight up eat. Not. Not bad, but not something you just want to eat as is. Good, it needs to be a, a component of another recipe. I don't even know if it could be. You it's know, I, I'm sure it does. I'm sure it could be. So, ring that bell. All right, come here. Say your line. Wow. Subscribe, ring the bell, share this video, and don't forget to go. If you just watch this video and have your lunch part one, then go to part one.